Example 4, vector and parametric equations of line in R2. Determine vector and parametric equations of the line passing through point A, 2, 3, with direction vector minus 2, 1. And part B is determine the coordinates of two points on this line. Okay, any two points. So let's first write down the vector equation. Here on the top, I've given you both the equations, right? The idea of writing it on the top is that you get used to these new equations which you are learning. That's the vector equation. Let's try to understand what vector equation is. Vector equation says that r, the vector representing the line, equals to r0, which is any given point on the line, times plus t times direction vector m, where t belongs to real numbers. Now, t could be any real number, and that ensures that a line being represented by this vector equation can have infinite number of points because every single value of t will result into a unique point on the line. Now the second equation is the parametric equation where x and y values can be calculated as a given point x0 plus t times a and y is given point y0 plus t times b, right? Where a and B are the direction numbers, correct? So it's like of expansion of this, and you break it apart into X and Y parts. Here, T is the parameter, and this T signifies that line is single dimensional object, since it can be defined with one parameter. When we do planes, we'll have two parameters, that means planes will be two dimensional objects. Okay, coming back to our question. So we need to write vector equation, that means like this, right? So we say vector equation is r equals to r0, which is the given point, 2 comma 3, right? 2 comma 3 plus t times the direction vector, which is minus 2 comma 1. So that becomes our vector equation, correct? Now, Parametric equation is writing this in a different form, basically. So we'll write parametric equation on this side and say x is equal to x0 is 2 minus 2t and y is equal to 3 plus t. So that's how we get the parametric equation. Now, to determine coordinates of two points on the line, what we can do is, we can give some value to t and find the coordinates. For example, we can give t equals to, let us say 1, right? So if t equals to 1, then what do we get? We get x equals to 2 minus 2, which is 0, and y equals to 3 plus 1, which is 4, and therefore this coordinate is 0, 4. So this point lies on our line. And here we'll give you a second point from the vector equation. So we can take t is some value, and let's say t is 3, let's say. It doesn't matter. You can take any value, right? So in that case, our point will be 2, comma 3 plus we are taking 3 as t value and we say minus 2 and 1. So we get 2 comma 3 plus this gives us minus 6 and 3. Therefore our coordinate point is 2 minus 6 which is minus 4 and 3 plus 3 which is 6. So these are the two points and I have shown you using different equations how to find points on your line using vector equation and parametric equation. Correct? Okay, I hope there is no doubt on it. If there is, put in your comments and we'll see how best we can resolve it. Thank you.